Here's a video of a 1965 MGB Roadster that I just got from a barn in Lemoore, California. The original, the owner I bought it from had owned this car since 1972 and in 1985 he blew his clutch up. So he parked it in his barn, removed the engine and transmission to replace the clutch and then promptly left it there for the next 35 years in that condition. So 35 years of sitting in a barn has taken its toll on the poor car, but still very restorable. When I got the car, the engine and transmission was out of it, and I've put it back in just for transportation purposes. This car needs to be restored. I've restored one of these early cars, pull door handle cars, and I don't think I want to restore another one. Even though it was a lot of fun, I don't need to do the same thing twice. This is what makes it really cool. See this door handle here? This is the pull door handle. And this was the first generation of door handle for the MGB. And it pulls out like this. Also, the early cars had a different latching mechanism here. And then if you look on the other side of the door, it had this cool... Little lock mechanism here. I like the early cars. I like the, the way this is how you open the door from the inside instead of the generic British Leyland one the later models had. This pull handle. Another nice thing about these early cars is there's no side markers. The lights, so it's a lot purer design. This is the original design. Doors open and close beautifully. This is a black plate California car too, which means it started its life in California and it's always been in California. And if you look at the license expiration, 1985. Still has this original Lucas headlights. I like these red ones. The European ones were orange and red. And the American ones were all red. I quite like the red ones. This is a hard top. It's not the original hard top, but it sure looks like the original factory hard top. This is one of the aftermarket hard tops that was designed to look like the original hard top with this big glass area here. Makes it a lot airier. And if we look inside, the early cars had this tin dash. They ran this in the US all the way till 67. The tin dash gave you bigger gauges and just more of a classic look. And then this has got the early transmission. This is an aftermarket steering wheel. This is not the original steering wheel. It has the early non-synchro first transmission. And if you see, it's got a little crook right here on the, the, the shifter and that is correct for the early car. And as you can see the car used to be was originally Old English white. We see a lot of Old English white here. Old English white. And this is something I haven't seen in a very long time. Still the original dual six volt batteries. I'm sure they're replacements but how many MGBs still have dual six volt batteries? Everybody changed them to a single mini 12 volt. That just shows how long it's been sitting. The original, I believe it's, uh, it's a press steel. I can't remember who made this thing. It was press steel. It's a body tag. She does have some rust in the floors. Typical MGB. Solid here. Super solid, but nasty looking. And then you come over here, and you can actually see some holes in the floor. The car comes with a set of replacement front floor pans. There's the original center console. Do have all the original keys. Gentleman was able to find all the original keys. There's the ignition. There's the glove box and the key for the trunk. The boot is in the boot. Nice door jams. No rust in the hinges. 
this A pillar all nice and strong. It's even the original buffers here, still here. Now we'll have a look under the bonnet. Okay, and now we are looking under the bonnet of the 1965 MGB. This is the original engine. Like I said, it was out of a car and I just placed it back in. I didn't do, don't think that this car is gonna fire up. It's gonna need a total restoration. But as you can see, this is the early style alternator, early starter motor. You see how this, it's really hard to see, but if you look back there, you can see the end of the starter motor coming out of a transmission bell housing. That shows the early car. The later ones had the solenoid attached to the starter. This one has the solenoid right here. Also, look at the brake here. This is for brake light. The later ones actually had it on here, on the brake housing itself. But this is a pressure-based one, and it's in the uh, brake line itself. Here's the, trans uh, the engine number. 18 GBU H, so it's a high compression engine and it's an early 5 main. So it's a very early 5 main engine and it is correct for this plate. So we look at the, it's where the ID plate is and when you look at the numbers, this makes perfect sense that it would have this engine. And if we pull this away, you can see. This should say BMC 65, but whoever painted it primrose yellow didn't mask it off properly. But 40 years ago, paint jobs aren't what they are today. This car looks like it had that little bit of damage here, see this? And I think they, the fender was, well, I know the fender was removed to have this repaired, but it wasn't repaired very well. But there doesn't appear to be any damage, significant damage anywhere apart from, you know, right here. Correct carburetors, air cleaners, and correct uh, positive crankcase ventilation. A tube went from here to here. Correct radiator with the neck. The later radiators had the filler, I think, right here. The early ones had this nice little elegant neck here where you filled it. This is nice. I don't believe it's original, but I do like the detail here. It's a really nice mirror. Obviously it needs to be chroming, but Crack of Doom just starting, famous MGB floor. I mean, it's not the end of a world, just drill a hole, weld it when you're restoring it. It'll never come back. Just drill a hole at the base, then weld it up, you're set. And of course, I'm sure this has one too. Yes, look, right there. I've seen this in just about every old MGB out there that needs a restoration. <laughs> There's a the trunk key or boot key, depending on which part of the world we're in. Open the boot, latch it. <clears throat> this has the early style boot latch, which is this. The other ones, later model ones, had an uh, automatic one. The boot looks rough. It was just full of stuff when I bought the car. He'd used it for storage. And it is solid, but it is horrible looking. Uh, if you look back here, it's not being smashed in the back. It's nice and straight back here. No damage. I mean, again, it looks bad, but it's not that bad. Oh, that's my German Shepherd Miha. And then, this is some of the stuff that was in the boot. Original folding top bows, stowaway top bows, header. Two of the rear top pieces that connect to the back. Early jack with a wooden handle. I believe these are getting quite rare now. Uh, for the spare tire, early fan. I actually have a more modern fan too that comes with the car with the multiple blades if you want to go with a multiple blade. And I believe this is the tannoy cover piece. It goes across the back to keep the tannoy cover from sagging. And there's the old floor pans, I guess. I don't know where he got those from, but they came with the car, so they go with the car. 
I also have two spare wheels that go with the car. So you get a total of six wheels. So that concludes my walk around. Well, one more thing I'd like to point out. Those are the original seats. They don't have the head rests, they're a lot simpler seat. But it, those are the original seats. Of course, the car needs a tall restoration. But I mean, look at that door panel, that's the original door panel. So you know this car originally came from the factory, Old English White, with a black interior with white piping. I think this car would look stunning in that color combination again. Like I said, I've restored one of these to Concorde spec. And I don't think I'm going to do another one. I've got too many projects, but I couldn't let this car go to waste. So there it is, 1965 MGB Roadster.